Dustin Hoffman has got a new movie out. It's called Quartet. And this Friday on the Radio 5 Live film show that I present with Simon Mayo, you can hear him talking to Simon Mayo about the new movie. And in honour of this, I decided to do a Dustin Hoffman Top 5. But looking back through his filmography, despite movies like Hook and I Heart Huckabees, there are just so many great films, I couldn't quite get them all into a Top 5. So, for once and once only, Dustin Hoffman Top 10. Here we go. Now, because I've granted myself 10 rather than 5, it means there are going to be some titles included that you may not think are terrific. And I'm going to start off with, at number 10, Last Chance Harvey. Yes, that's right, Last Chance Harvey. A movie which some people think is unspeakably poor, but I kind of like it. And here's the reason I've chosen it. It's Emma Thompson and Dustin Hoffman providing all the charm, all the wit, all the appeal for a movie which is, frankly, pretty ropey. I mean, actually, if there's any great indication of what a really good actor can do, it's taking a project like that and turning it into something other than just middle-of-the-road mainstream television. I'm including Last Chance Harvey, and I don't care what you think. At number nine, Rain Man, in which he famously played Raymond Babbitt and won one of two Academy Awards from seven nominations. Now, generally the way it works is this. You don't win Academy Awards for your very best work. And I think Rain Man sits there at number nine. Not his best work, but still pretty damn good. At number eight, and pretty much proving what I just said about the Academy Awards, Lenny, in which he plays Lenny Bruce. For my money, one of his greatest performances. Nominated for an Oscar, but didn't win. Why? Well, perhaps because the subject was a little bit too edgy for the Academy voters. At seven, and with another Oscar win, Kramer versus Kramer, the story of a marriage breaking down, two parents separating and a child caught in the middle. What's extraordinary about that film is not just that Dustin Hoffman is fantastically natural as somebody attempting to come to terms with single parenthood, but that he holds his own against Meryl Streep. I mean, that's a real achievement. At number six, All the President's Men, the true tale of Carl Bernstein and Bob Woodward's efforts to bring down President Nixon. You know, it's funny how, after all these years, people still cite All the President's Men as the great political text. For example, at the moment, the film which is most hotly tipped to pick up the Academy nod for Best Picture is Argo. Ask Ben Affleck which film he was thinking about when he made Argo. All the President's Men. Into the top five now, and it's time to put on the spangly frock as Michael Dorsey, a.k.a. Dorothy Michaels in Sidney Pollock's Tootsie. I remember when Tootsie first came out, there was a splashy Sunday supplement feature on it, which had, on the front cover, Dustin Hoffman in drag. I promise you, most of the people who picked up that magazine didn't realise that A, it was Dustin Hoffman, and B, it was a bloke. At number four, perhaps a controversial choice, Dustin Hoffman as David Sumner in Sam Peckinpah's Straw Dogs. Even after all these years, Straw Dogs remains a very, very difficult movie to like, and for very good reasons. It is a massively conflicted work, and yet, at the heart of it is Dustin Hoffman's performance. You do believe in him as the mouse who turns, even as all the chaos rages around him. Sam Peckinpah was in pieces making Straw Dogs. Dustin Hoffman seems to be completely of a piece. At number three, Marathon Man, one of the great thrillers of the 1970s, and still one of the reasons why I can't go to the dentist. Is it safe? Is it safe? At number two, Hoffman being ironically brilliant in a role originally earmarked for Robert Redford in The Graduate. According to popular folklore, for the first weeks, indeed months of the shoot, Dustin Hoffman thought that he'd been miscast and he was going to be fired. Years later, Mike Nichols said, ah, I did that on purpose. I wanted his character to seem edgy and out of place, and he does. And finally, at number one, of course, what else could it be other than Hoffman as Ratso Rizzo in John Schlesinger's brilliant Midnight Cowboy? Famously, Midnight Cowboy is the only American X-rated movie ever to win the Oscar for Best Picture. It's also, apparently, the only X-rated movie ever to be officially screened for a sitting US president. That president was Richard Nixon, although, whether that's an endorsement or not, I'm not sure. So there we are, my Dustin Hoffman top ten. Tune into the show on Five Live this Friday between two and four and hear Simon Mayo talking to Hoffman about his new movie Quartet. And if you think I've left out anything in this list, let me know what your choice would be. Let me just say in advance, if you're going to suggest Hook, forget it. <laughs>